Thermo Scientific Sample Manager LIMS Software's lab execution system is a way to replace traditional physical lab books with digital ones. It provides you with a way to digitize laboratory procedures so that you can walk your staff through complex procedural tasks step by step, checking resource availability, and recording data directly to Sample Manager LIMS Software as you go. In many labs, you might experience something like this. A lab manager might assign a procedure to a technician. The technician then carries it out, often using written instructions and recording information as they go, in a lab book or on paper forms. This information could be in the form of written notes or reports from instruments or equipment. After the procedure is finished, someone then has the task of transcribing all this information into a LIMS, so it can be stored with the record of the sample used in the procedure. A laboratory execution system eliminates the need to manually record and enter data. Users record information directly into Sample Manager during the lab procedure, thereby ensuring that data is always accurately recorded and safely stored. Instrument and equipment systems connect directly to the LES, making this a completely digital process. So, in a lab using Sample Manager's lab execution system, when the lab manager assigns a procedure to the technician, the technician starts a task in Sample Manager. They are taken through the procedure step by step, and data is recorded in the LIMS as it happens. By the end of the procedure, there is no information to transcribe to Sample Manager LIMS software, and all the details about the procedure are instantly available to the lab manager or whoever else needs access to it. Thermo Scientific Sample Manager's lab execution system allows you to make your lab more paper free, lets you break down complex procedures so they are easier to understand and records information far more accurately because it is only entered once, ensuring compliance and data integrity. Thank you for watching.